Good afternoon, and welcome to the American Public Transportation Foundation. Please welcome our host, Eva Saha. So good evening, everyone. I am Eva Saha, and I'm honored to be here today to host the 2016 American Public Transportation Foundation Scholarship Award Ceremony. Welcome to Los Angeles, everybody. I know you've been here for a while. I hope you're enjoying. <clears throat> So the mission of the American Public Transportation Foundation is to increase and retain the number of individuals choosing the transit field as a career by providing scholarships and engagement opportunities to deserving students and transit professionals who will lead our industry into the future. With their continued innovation and focus on building a system for the future of the region, Los Angeles is a great host for today's celebration to recognize the 2016 APTF scholars. Today, we celebrate those being awarded scholarships by the APTF. This program is a testament to the value and benefit of supporting scholars and transit professionals as they continue their education and work to make their mark in our industry. APTF 2016 scholars, please stand and be recognized. This is your day. That is the future. We have a good turnout for today's event, including members of APTA's executive leadership, members of the APTF board, past scholars, general managers, CEOs, business members, and friends. Welcome to all of you. Today, we will hear from members of the foundation board and learn about the activities and current fundraising efforts of the foundation. We'll hear from APTA's chair for 2016, Doran Barnes, as well as APTA's acting president and CEO, Dick White. And finally, and most importantly, we will honor the 27 scholarship recipients. Now, I would like to start off by welcoming Jennifer Mitchell, chair of the APTF board, who will provide remarks on behalf of the foundation board of directors. Jennifer. Thank you all for coming today to celebrate our scholars. As we begin today's program, let us first thank incoming 2016 Chair Doran Barnes, APTA's immediate past chair, Valerie McCall, who's also a member of our foundation board, and APTA's acting president and CEO, Dick White, for their support and commitment to the foundation. I would like to personally commend my colleagues on the APTF board of directors for their leadership and dedication. The board is made up of industry leaders who are extremely committed to supporting students and transit professionals who are furthering their education. Please join me in acknowledging them for their hard work. I ask that they please stand and be recognized. I know a number of them are actually in the back right now, but please join me in thanking them. I would also like to acknowledge Gary Thomas, who will be completing his term as a foundation board member this year. Thank you, Gary, for your longstanding commitment and dedication for the foundation. <laughs> On behalf of the Foundation's Board of Directors, I would like to also thank our uh, members for their generosity over the years. Without these corporate and uh, individual gifts, we would not be able to carry out this great work. It is because of our donors that APTF has been able to award over $900,000 in scholarships to more than 300 students since its inception in 1988. Your donations ensure that our scholars receive the financial assistance they need for education needed to become a talented, dedicated, and diverse workforce. Your donations are an investment in the future because these scholars will one day become general managers, marketing directors, and senior planners. To our current and future donors, we thank you for your continued support and investment in our next generation of public transportation leaders. We also want to recognize the corporate sponsors who have contributed to foundation events at this annual meeting. On Saturday, we held a very uh, successful golf tournament. We thank our Golfing for a Cause sponsors and those who came out to enjoy a, a, a beautiful day at the DeBell Golf Course in Burbank. We would also like to thank uh, the sponsors of that event, Transit Marketing Group, Norbrake Corporation, Clever Devices, Wabtech Corporation, Alstom, Parsons, Motor Coach Industry, Industries and New Flyer for their sponsorship of the event. 
We would also like to thank Genfire for donating the golf balls and Foothill Transit for providing the event transportation. I would also like to thank everybody that came out and attended our very, very successful and magical fundraising reception last night at the Conga Room. The event was also made possible by corporate sponsors and individual contributors who joined us to celebrate the 2016 scholars and raise money to ensure that the APTF can continue to raise money um, to provide scholarships and engagement opportunities to the next generation of transit leaders. Last night, we raised over $20,000 for future scholarships. <laughs> this reception was also made even more successful because of our reception sponsors. Those sponsors are the APTA uh, Business Member uh, Activity Fund, Genfair, Foothill Transit, MV Transportation, Avail Technologies, First Transit, Michael Baker International, McDonald Transit Associates, Keolis Transit America, Transdev North America, Christopher Boylan, Harris Rand Lux, the General Contractors Association, Motor Coach Industries, and New Flyer. I'm very pleased to announce that because of the support of our donors, our donors this year the foundation is awarding 130,000 in scholarships to 27 deserving individuals. This is the largest amount of scholarships ever awarded in the history of APTF. Yeah. <laughs> also, thanks to your tremendous support, we are awarding two new NAEP scholarships this year. The Valerie J. McCall Scholarship was created this year following a very successful event held in Ms. McCall's honor at the 2015 annual meeting in San Francisco. The scholarship was made possible through many individual contributions, as well as support from the Business Member Activity Fund. This year's scholarship will be awarded to a student who is uh, pursuing studies in urban transportation planning of, with a focus in public administration. The Mabardier Scholarship was fully funded last year and is awarded for the first time this year to a scholar who intends to pursue a career in rail manufacturing or public transportation. This year, we are also proud to offer a single-year scholarship to honor the memory of a friend to many of us in the industry, Mr. Clarence Cal Marsala. As general manager at RTD in Denver, Cal championed and directed Fast Tracks, a project nationally recognized for its innovation and vision. APTA recognized his outstanding work by naming him Outstanding Public Transportation Manager in 2006. The scholarship offered in Cal's name was made possible by his family and his wife, Sherry, who requested that donations be made in his memory to the foundation. The foundation has increased its outreach this year in an effort to maintain or even increase the record amount of scholarships that we were able to provide. Currently, we're in the midst of our back to school annual campaign. You will see colorful flyers at your tables. I see a few, uh, a few of them might be around. We hope that you'll please consider making a donation today to the APTF so that we can continue to provide scholarships to students and help transit professionals go back to school. Remember, no gift is too small. I would now like to welcome Rick Simonetta, APTF Emeritus Board Member, who will talk about the Jim Cowan Scholarship Fundraising Effort. Good afternoon. I'm here actually to talk to you about a scholarship that hasn't been funded. Uh, some of you more seasoned transit leaders uh, in the audience might remember the name Jim Cowan. Jim was a leader of our industry back in the 80s and 90s, and unfortunately, he passed away in 2005. Uh, but Jim is uh, a past chair of APTA. He's a member of the Hall of Fame. He was a transit manager of the year. Uh, the systems that he ran were TriMet in Portland and the bus in Honolulu and both of those systems were award winners of APTA uh, awards. So Jim has been a great leader uh, of our industry. When he passed away in 2005, Reba Malone, who was the chair just before him in 1988, when this foundation was actually created, started a named uh, scholarship for Jim Cowan. A named scholarship is an endowed scholarship, and you have to, um, you, you have to collect $50,000 to actually create the scholarship. Uh, back when Reba did this in 2005, she thought it would be a very simple thing. I did too. I've been contributing to it for uh, a number of years, but it is really languished. Uh, we didn't get the 50,000, we got the 25,000. And so a few weeks ago when the board met, we made a decision 
Uh, we had two choices. One was to basically turn the money from the Jim Cowan Scholarship back into the general fund. The other option was to put an effort forward to see if we couldn't get another $25,000 of donations in the name of Jim Cowan so that we could endow this scholarship and permanently recognize Jim's legacy uh, as part of this uh, program. I took on the challenge to do that, and I'm pleased to say that uh, we have made a good bit of progress, but we're not quite there. So if anyone is thinking about making a contribution to the APTF, uh, I certainly encourage you to do that, and I'd like you to consider making that in the name of James Cowan. If you do, you'll help us get to that $50,000 level and really honor a person who deserves our recognition uh, and someone who was a mentor to me and to many others. So thank you for listening to that. All right, so let's have a round of applause for Jennifer and Rick, as well as the rest of the foundation board who work hard to further the mission of the foundation. So I am now pleased to welcome APTA Chair Doran Barnes to the stage. Doran is a firm believer in the importance of continuing education, as long, has been a longtime donor to the foundation. Doran and Foothill Transit sponsored three of this year's scholars, so let's have a big round of applause for Doran. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. As a former secretary treasurer, I had the opportunity and the honor of serving on the foundation board, and I've seen firsthand the great work that the foundation does. It's something that's near and dear to my heart, and really in many respects, my work here at APTA began with working on workforce development issues, building the people, building the future that are so important to our industry. You certainly have my commitment to continue that effort during my, my year as chair. It's a personal passion for me and something I'll continue to lean in on. Let's recognize the tremendous support for last evening's APTF fundraising event. Was everybody there? Everybody give? Absolutely. It was a fun event and a chance for us to come together to celebrate, to enjoy the magic of Los Angeles and continue to make the magic that is part of this foundation. I'm pleased to announce that APTA's executive committee recently approved my recommendations to reappoint current board members Jennifer Mitchell and Hugh Mose as our chair and vice chair respectively. They have worked very hard this past year and I look forward to their continued service. So congratulations to both of them. I look forward to supporting them in the year ahead. Also the board approved my appointment of Jeff Wharton who served a partial term and has been reappointed to a full term. Appointed, uh, appointed to new terms as board members uh, include Janet Walker Ford, Michael Jones, and Anne Louise Rice. And I know that each of these individuals will bring their passion, their energy, their excitement to continuing the great work of our foundation. They all look forward to helping us to increase the awareness of our industry among our scholars, and ultimately that's what this is all about. Please join me in welcoming our new board members, and we want, I want to congratulate again our scholarship recipients. At this time, it's my honor to recognize and welcome APTA's Acting President and CEO, Richard White. Good afternoon, everybody. It's, uh, it's really a pleasure for me to be here joining you um, in recognition of our, our Foundation Scholarship uh, Award recipients. Um, you know, I'd like to sort of start this by giving a, a shout out to Reba Malone, who was the, the, the stepmother for all of this back in 1988 uh, during her year as uh, APTA chair, which is when the foundation uh, program came into being. So let's give her a round of applause. And we've seen the importance of all the various components of what goes into bringing people into our industry and the workforce development challenges that our industry has. So this, this has been an incredibly important program for a long, long time. You know, it has been succeeded by other incredibly successful programs like Leadership APTA, which we just recognized uh, earlier, the 2016 graduates and the 2017 incoming classes. 
we have a mid-career program, we have an early career program. Uh, Eno, we work together with Eno in, in shared training and development programs and Compto and others. So workforce development, it, it's just so critical to our industry. It's probably been, never been more critical than it is uh, today uh, for our future. So our scholarship recipients, as, as they come in uh, and get attracted into our industry because of their fields of study uh, and the uh, benefits that they receive financially uh, to, to further their careers of study, I hope also they think about how they can encourage uh, others to do the same because we desperately need them. Thank you all for being here. Well, thank you, Dick and Doran. So, <clears throat> Now is the time, the exciting time, to hear from one of our scholars. Each year, the APTF board recognizes one of the essays that stands out above the others. We cannot let this celebration go by without letting you hear an excerpt from our winning essay, and who better to deliver that than the winner himself. We are so pleased to honor Hendy Satya, this year's winner of Best Essay. So please join me in welcoming Hendy to the stage. As a kid, I remember looking out of the bus windows with awe of passing trees as I sat alongside my mother. We were just a few more blocks from the park where I was getting ready to run wild, with, run wild around the playground with my friends. After I got tired, we were back on the bus and on our way to the local shopping center where my mom could complete some of her daily chores. I didn't know it then, but public transportation was vital for my parents. As immigrant, as immigrant parents, it gave them a survival tool to thrive and to provide opportunities for my sister and I in this brand new world. Fast forward to today, and I'm now working in the industry that helped my parents settle in and find opportunities. I have been bitten by the transit bug. I am excited about the opportunities provided by the American Public Transportation Pro uh, Foundation and the scholarships that are provided to young professionals looking to begin or continue a career in the public transportation industry. This industry has been a great platform for me to grow and achieve my career goals over the past eight plus years. It has given me the opportunity to develop my skills by working to solve transportation issues and help communities stay connected. The APTF scholarships have fostered my passion for public transit. It has, it has had a tremendous impact on my growth professionally and with Foothill Transit. I was afforded an opportunity to pursue my MBA from the University of Laverne to develop my skills and gain new knowledge. And gain new knowledge. The scholarship helped offset some of the costs for tuition, books, and supplies. I was able to worry less about how I would pay for my education and focus on learning the tools of the trade to be successful in my career. It has been a vital resource on this ed educational path. This scholarship is more than just financial assistance. It has also helped me connect with brilliant minds and influencers in the public transit industry. I was able to learn from various speakers and thought leaders about the world of transit. Being a scholarship win winner also helped me break the ice in conversations with fellow transit professionals and gave me an opportunity to build my network. The scholarship provided an opportunity to attend these great APTA annual conferences around the nation that featured insightful presentations, an opportunity to meet CEOs and executives of transit agencies who shared their wisdom and advice, and meet new friends who share a common bond to become the future leaders of our industry. I couldn't have imagined making these connections early in my transit career when I accepted my first job in public transit. Those conversations improved my understanding of the industry from the minutia to the big picture strategic goals. Being chosen as a recipient of this scholarship has been a huge honor, and it is only possible thanks to various donors who contribute towards the success of the future of our industry. It means a lot to me that those who came before us in, transit, in the transit world care enough to give back and make a difference. The APTF scholarship program continues to help the next generation of transit professionals and I'm very thankful and honored to be one of them. Thanks. Well, thank you, Hendy. It is so nice to hear how receiving uh, an APTF scholarship has really impacted you, and it seems like you were born into this, so that's wonderful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present our 2016 APTF scholarship recipients and their sponsors. The following individuals are receiving named scholarships and will each come to the stage to be honored. Jeffrey Kessler. 
Jeffrey is the recipient of the Jack R. Gilstrap Scholarship, sponsored by the Washington Area Metropolitan Transportation Authority in Washington, D.C. Jeffrey is interested in public transportation because it is unique in that it serves as the lifeblood of a city's connectivity. As technology makes us more mobile, public transportation will be critical in determining which cities thrive, says Jeffrey. Congratulations, Jeffrey. Andisha, is the re Andisha Ranjbari. Andisha Ranjbari is the recipient of the Parsons Brinkerhoff Jim Lammy Scholarship, sponsored by the Arizona Transit Association. Receiving an APTF scholarship has been a tremendous encouragement for Andisha, who is working to complete her PhD in transportation engineering, a field that she is very passionate about. Congratulations, Andisha. Joel Mandela. Joel is the recipient of the Lewis T. Clauder Scholarship, sponsored by Bay Area Rapid Transit in Oakland, California. Joel chose to pursue studies in transit because he would like to help shape the policies and infrastructure that affect every individual regionally while improving livability and decreasing environmental costs. Congratulations, Joel. Tanya Pina. Tanya is the recipient of the Dan M. Riker Jr. Scholarship, sponsored by Foothill Transit in West Covina, California. Tanya plans to use the scholarship to assist in completing her MBA, which will allow her to continue building upon her management and leadership skills that directly apply to her current role as an operations contract manager at Foothill. Congratulations, Tanya. Harriet John. Now, unfortunately, Harriet will not be able to join us this evening, but we would like to recognize her as the recipient of the Dr. George M. Smirk Scholarship, sponsored by the Mineta Transportation Institute at San Jose State University in San Jose, California. Harriet chose public transportation as a career because she finds it meaningful to serve the public and reduce population, uh, pollution. Sorry. Accepting the certificate on Harriet's behalf is Dr. Karen Philbrick, Executive Director of the Mineta Transportation Institute. Thank you for coming up here. And congratulations to Harriet. Alexander Gallo. Alexander is the recipient of the Richard J. Bouchard AECOM Scholarship, sponsored by Calgary Transit in Calgary, Alberta. Alexander chose public transit because of the incredible positive downstream effects it has on public health, sustainability, and city shaping. So true. Congratulations, Alexander. Congratulations. Jarrell Smith. Jarrell is the recipient of the Florida Public Transportation Association Scholarship, sponsored by the Regional Transit System in Gainesville, Florida. Jarrell chose his career path because public transportation remains one of the essential elements that enhances one's personal economic opportunities, and he enjoys helping connect those in his community with work, education, and health care. Congratulations, Jarrell. Simon Farabi. Simon is the recipient of the Reba Malone Scholarship sponsored by the Metropolitan Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority in Atlanta, Georgia. Simon is pursuing his PhD in bus operations, and he's developed algorithms to avoid bus bunching. Simon is also a founder and executive director of MARTA Army, a nonprofit organization improving the transit experience in the Atlanta region. Hmm. Already accomplished so much. Congratulations, Simon. Congratulations. William Paul Hogue, known to his friends as Paul. Paul is the recipient of the Raymond C. Miller Scholarship sponsored by the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency in San Francisco, California. Paul chose public transportation because he enjoys serving his community and believes that public transportation can be one of the most impactful factors in community revitalization. 
Congratulations, Paul. Uche Okori. Uche is the recipient of the Shirley A. DeLibero Scholarship sponsored by Inner City Transit in Olympia, Washington. Uche is working towards his master's degree in cybersecurity and leadership and would like to create and implement a cybersecurity framework that can be utilized to protect the transit agencies across the industry. It's much needed, so congratulations, Uche. Congratulations. Cody Bennett. Cody is the recipient of the William Millar Scholarship and is sponsored by the Charlotte Area Transit System in Charlotte, North Carolina. Cody chose public transportation because he believes it allows him to not only work closely with people, but develop technology to further that field itself. As Cody is not able to join us this evening, Bill Millar will accept the certificate on his behalf. And congratulations to Cody. Thank you, Bill. Aaron Shoemate. Aaron is the recipient of the Jerome C. Primo Scholarship sponsored by the Eno Center for Transportation in Washington, D.C. Aaron is pursuing her Master's in Business Administration with a concentration in Leadership Development. She plans to use the skills learned through this program to assist her as she works on and develops new leadership development classes within the transit industry. Advancing education, it's so noble. Congratulations, Aaron. Andrea Hendrick. Andrea is the recipient of the BMBG Janie Wilkin Memorial Scholarship, sponsored by Grand Valley State University in Allendale, Michigan. Andrea believes that efficient public transportation is the key factor in the creation of sustainable cities in the U.S. and throughout the world. Keep up the good work and congratulations, Andrea. <laughs> Joshua Baker. Joshua is the 2016 recipient of the Frank J. Latansky Memorial Scholarship and serves as general manager of the Greater Lynchburg Transit Company in Lynchburg, Virginia. The Latansky Scholarship is awarded to an eligible candidate from a small or mid-sized transit agency each year to attend a session of the Eno Transit Executive Program. Now, though Joshua could not travel to Los Angeles, he looks forward to attending Eno's program next February in Washington, D.C., and representing him today is Carl Sidorek, CEO, Monterey Salinas Transit. little tricky up here. Congratulations to Joshua and thank you, Carl. Hendy Satya. Well, as you already know, Hendy is the recipient of this year's Donald C. Hyde Memorial Essay Award, which is given to the applicant representing the best response to this required component of the program. Hendy is sponsored by Foothill Transit and believes that being an APTF scholar has helped him grow professionally by exposing him to many influential leaders in our industry and provided a platform for him to interact with them. Congratulations, Hendy, and you are so wise to take advice from the leaders in this industry. Lindsay Ann Cullen. Lindsay is the recipient of the Fran Hooper Scholarship sponsored by VHB. Lindsay's interest in public transportation started at a young age and developed through her mother's work in aviation and her family's travels. I'm sure your family is so proud and congratulations, Lindsay. Congratulations. The Americans with Disabilities Act 25th Anniversary Scholarship is awarded to a scholar who expresses an interest in working to enhance accessible public transportation. And this year's awards will go to two scholars. Cynthia Perkins Stevenson and Faustino Salvador Jr. are both sponsored by Access Services in El Monte, California. 
The scholarship has helped Cynthia to take all necessary classes to advance her education, which has helped her in her role at Access Services to serve their paratransit community. And one day, Cynthia hopes to start her own ADA transportation consulting firm. Very noble, and congratulations to Cynthia. Faustino chose public transportation to help people get to their destination. The everyday challenges from customers, drivers, and traffic keeps him motivated and coming back. We love that you've challenged, that you channeled all those challenges into a positive, Faustino. Congratulations. The Valerie J. McCall and Bombardier inaugural scholarships are being awarded today. Gold Aspire is the recipient of the Valerie J. McCall Scholarship, sponsored by the National Transit Institute at Rutgers University in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Golda will use the scholarship to assist her as she completes her master's degree in transportation planning while working full time in a local planning agency. She hopes to pursue a career as a transportation land use planner and thanks APTF for making all of this possible. Congratulations to, for all your hard work. Crystal Coleman is the recipient of the inaugural Bombardier Scholarship and is sponsored by HDR. Though Crystal was not able to join us today, she is so thankful to Bombardier and the APTF for providing the scholarship, which will help her as she works to complete her degree in construction management at the University of the District of Columbia. Receiving the certificate on Crystal's behalf is Tom Waldron, Senior Vice President, Global Transit Director from HDR. Congratulations to Crystal. Jacob New, the one-time scholarship offered in the name of Clarence Cal Marcella goes to Jacob New, sponsored by the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Though Jacob could not join us today, as a veteran, Jacob is honored to receive the scholarship in Cal's name, and it will help him as he completes his degree in civil engineering. So congratulations to Jacob. Now the following individuals are receiving APTF board scholarships. Kelly Glynn. Kelly is sponsored by the National Transit Institute at Rutgers University in New Brunswick, New Jersey. This scholarship will advance Kelly's career by giving her the unique opportunity to network with other current and future transit enthusiasts. And this financial gift will grant her, her freedom to choose a job based on her interests rather than her salary. Congratulations, Kelly, yes. And I encourage hooting and hollering and all that, so please, please cheer for these recipients. Axel Hellman. Axel is sponsored by Foothill Transit in West Covina, California. Axel believes that mass transit is one of the great wonders of civilization for its ability to move enormous volumes of people and connect even to remote areas with low population. He thinks that we should consider mass transit one of our greatest achievements as a society. Here, here, and congratulations, Axel. Carly Macias. Carly is sponsored by the IBI Group in San Diego, California, and the scholarship will assist her as she completes her graduate degree in urban and regional planning at the University of Colorado, Denver. Congratulations, Carly. <laughs> Jessica Thompson. Jessica is sponsored by Access Services in El Monte, California. Jessica chose public transportation because she found working in paratransit to be very rewarding. She believes that everyone needs a way to get from place to place, and paratransit is an answer for individuals who cannot afford medical transportation or taxi services. Paratransit offers freedom and independence to those who would otherwise not be able to get around. So true, and congratulations, Jessica. Now, the following individuals are receiving APTF Board Renewal Scholarships, so they're keeping up that great work. Katrina Corcoran. 
Katrina is sponsored by the Center for Urban Transportation Research in Tampa, Florida. Katrina found that being selected as a recipient truly opened up so many doors, from allowing her to attend her first public transportation conference to introducing her to a network of like-minded peers. This experience has been truly worthwhile for Katrina. We're so glad, and congratulations, Katrina. Brian Smith. Brian is sponsored by Hampton Roads Transit in Hampton, Virginia. Brian will use his scholarship to complete his PhD in organizational leadership, which he is pursuing while serving as interim chief of staff and assistant to the president at Hampton Roads Transit. Congratulations, Brian. Jonathan Weidman. Jonathan is sponsored by HDR Inc. Though Jonathan could not join us today, he is thankful to receive a Renewal APTF scholarship, which has not only helped him advance his education, but has also connected him with an incredible network of caring professionals, professionals in the transportation industry. Receiving the certificate on Jonathan's behalf is Tom Waldron from HDR. Thanks again, Tom, and congratulations to Jonathan. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating all the 2016 American Public Transportation Foundation Scholarship recipients. And thank you also to all of our sponsors. This could not be possible without you. Thank you to all of you. Enjoy the rest of the annual meeting. And I, for one, am so inspired by the future of this industry. So thanks again. Congratulations. And have a great time in Los Angeles, everyone.